when you have uh, consolidation of, of um, like-minded you know, clubs, you're, you're, you're having a more defined member experience and brand experience. So, so I think that, um, that's, that that's a good thing. Um, I, I don't care to make predictions on what's going to happen in the next 6 to 12 months in that space. Um, but, but I do liken some of this to what happens in the hotel industry. Um, for the consumer looking at a health club, unless they know the club brand, they really don't know the differences between a club one, a 24-hour fitness, a snap fitness, a fitness anytime. I mean, they don't get that until they, they have some experience um, in, in education around those products, right? Um, and in the hotel business, you know exactly what a, uh, a Motel 6 is, and you know exactly what a Sheridan is, and you know exactly what a Four Seasons or a, or, or a Ramada, or pick, your, pick your, your, your company. The consumer knows what that product is, right? There's almost various tiers of service and price along that continuum. We have the same thing in the health industry, but the consumers aren't aware as much. So I think when you have some of these things happen, you start getting a better understanding of, of what particular brands are. And I think that's good for the consumer to go, okay, I want to go to a Club One because I'm looking for this type of experience. You know, and I'm willing to pay a little bit more and, and I'm willing to get a little bit more. Or I want to go to um, a Sports Club LA. And I know what that stands for. You know, and that's fine, but I think that the more that the industry gets known in the consumer's mind for what the products are, that that helps the industry. And so when you get some of that consolidation, that cleans up some of that um, organically, I believe.